hello guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in my name is beloved and this video is a tutorial on how to make spring roll and samosa wrap how to fold the wrap into spring roll and how to store it just in case you do not plan on frying it the moment you make it for today's recipe i use three cups of flour two tablespoons of baking powder and two tablespoons of salt for the filling i used only vegetables and the vegetables i used include carrots green pepper spring onion and red onion mm -hmm. but you can add in any other vegetable you want you can also add in beef minced meat or canned beef if you are a meat lover you add the meat to the vegetables and then you saute them together to make your filling for your spring roll to make the wrap i advise that you first of all wash your hand with soap and water thoroughly since this process involves mixing the butter with your hand then you sift your flour into a mixing bowl or any other washing bowl big enough for making the butter mind you the washing bowl should be very clean and dry you then add into the flour two tablespoons of baking powder and two tablespoons of salt to make the butter more airy and fluffy the use of the baking powder and the salt here in the recipe should be adjusted depending on the quantity of the flour being used you then add in water to the ingredients that you just mixed up just as i was saying you add in water to the ingredients that is the flour the baking powder and the salt that you just mixed up you should note that you must add in the water gradually since the mixture for the wrap should have a pancake like consistency too much water will make the wraps thin and would break or tear apart when you decide on folding the wraps into the spring roll so it is advisable that you make the butter as thick as possible so that when you are folding the spring roll you don't have any problems so please ensure that your butter is thick enough to make the filling you can add two to three spoons of oil into a frying pan when you add in your veggies or meat for your filling as you may prefer but today's recipe is based on spring rolls with vegetable filling so for the sauteing of the vegetables you put it in the oil that you just placed in the frying pan the simmering oil for about 10 to 15 minutes and you mix gradually to make the vegetables soft and translucent make the wrap with the aid of a non-stick pan or the bottom part of a frying pan i suggest that you get a crepe maker to make this process easier and smoother for you and it would save you a lot of time and stress now it is time to start the folding of the spring roll to begin you can use a flat plate, a chopping board, or the surface of any clean table. Make a mixture with a little bit of flour and water. And ensure that the mixture is as thick as the butter you were making for the wrap in the beginning. This mixture that you just made will serve as a mixing or let's say a binding agent for the spring roll. So after making the binding agent as I'll call it, that is the mixture of the water and flour, you then pick one wrap and put it on the surface that you are using for the folding of the spring roll. Use a spoon to take some of the filling and put it on top of the wrap. Then you spread it evenly at the top part of the wrap on the surface that you are about to fold. Fold from the top of the wrap that you've placed on the surface twice. Then you dip your fingers into the flour mixture that you just made, which is your binding agent. And then you cover the edges of the wrap with the flour mixture. 
you then fold the flour mixture that you made or let's say the wrap you fold the left and right edges of the wrap onto the top part you started folding then the bottom part of the wrap will be the last part to tighten the wrap up and prevent it from opening and this is the demonstrated parts that you see in the video that you are watching now so you repeat the process again and again until the wraps and the filling are evenly used to store this put it in a ziplock bag or aluminium foil plate and cover it tightly in the refrigerator for about one to two months if you are not using it yet but you can also store it in the freezer for at least three months since it will freeze up this will help the spring grow be stored for a longer period of time this is how the veggie spring grow is made thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos till we meet again thank you all